morning boys and girls, friends, enemies. Um, this little video really is a response to NT8, Navy Thomas 8, who was talking about Iran, and the friendship of USA and UK. Well, USA-UK friendship goes back a long time even when we were beating each other up in the 1800s. Um, Mr Trump offered to go in and help sort out Iran. That dozy cow we've got as a... Prime Minister, thank God she's going, but then we're getting Boris Johnson the clown. What's wrong with indicators? No indicators on that. Bless. Um. The, uh, part of the issue is it's a British flag tanker, but I think there's a lot of apathy in. Parliament because there are no British citizens on board. They're from all over the world but no one on that British tanker is British. So it's just a hunk of steel really. But we captured one of theirs and took it into Gibraltar originally. And I suppose Iran's thought, oh tit for tat, we'll grab one of theirs. They're scared of us because we have nuclear weapons. Nah. Yeah, okay. Somebody should tell in, uh, the numpties in Iran. That they're a little bit outnumbered. But then, that despotic moron Putin would probably trump up and join in. And whoever else they're friends with. Oh, that was slippery. Melting tar, bloody hell, I thought it was a bit early in the day for melting tar. There you go. Has been warm, is warm. I've got my summer Airtex jacket on. Ah, I see, really heavy tractor's been along and chewed the surface a bit. Anyway, I digress, don't I? I always digress, I'm like that. I'm a digressionist. Um, so, that numpty Jeremy Hunt, Foreign Secretary, will have strong words. Uh, whoopee. We'll all quake in our boots, shall we? All he's, no, all he's famous for is screwing over the NHS. So who does that leave us with? Nobody really. They had a meeting of Cobra this morning. Nah, that sounds really impressive, doesn't it? Cobra stands for Cabinet Office Boardroom A. How original. Doesn't, nothing to do with the snake, nothing to do with venom, nothing to do with being hardline. Just somewhere they can all sit comfortably, have tea and biscuits and say, what can we do? And everybody responds with, whoa, 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 bum, bum, bum. I don't know, it might escalate. But I think it's a pissing contest. They ran us back there, dummy out. You took one of our tankers, according to us, illegally, according to the rest of the world, legally. We'll take one of yours. The crux of the matter here is not about who's right and who's wrong. It's about Iran blocking off seaways. And the one thing that was agre agreed literally by every nation on earth is that seaways should always be free and safe. And shipping should be able to go about its business. And the Iranians have decided that the Straits of Hormuz are becoming no-go areas. And that is in contradiction. So, should it be down to America to help us? 
No, I think it should be down to the rest of the bloody world that uses ships. Because, okay, they've had a pop at America and they've had a pop at us. How long before they have a pop at somebody else? I notice the old Ayatollah hasn't got the balls to have a pop at a Russian tanker or a Chinese tanker. Now that brings us to school bar schoolyard bullying tactics. They haven't got the guts to bully the big lads, so they're bullies. So Tom, what do you and I think of bullies? I loved them when I was in the police. Amazing the amount of people who try to bully you as a police officer. <laughs> Never ends well. Mindset. Do I have an answer? No, hell of course not. Do I fully understand the situation? No. But I do fully understand that it could degenerate. And what we've got a load of idiots and morons in, in the Parliament, at our end, I doubt it will, because there isn't a feather of guts amongst a lot of them. Bring back Maggie Thatcher. She wouldn't have stand, stood for this. She'd have knocked seven bells out of the bastards. Churchill, he'd have dumped hell and f fire on them. May, Ooh, I'm leaving. Boris Johnson, giggle, giggle. I'll make friends with him. Jeez. If ever we needed Guy Fawkes to get rid of the shower of shit that we have in Parliament right now, this is the time. So don't bother storming Area 51 or any of that crap, you young guns. Storm Parliament. Kick the useless buggers out. That was it, just a short one, a mumble, a rant. Probably doesn't make sense. But Tom wanted a response. And on that note, Tom, how are you? Yeah, looking a lot better. Don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it, pal. Come with that. I'll bid you farewell. Whatever you're doing, have fun doing it. If you can't have fun doing it, then change it. Ride safe and smile at the people who don't like you because it really hacks them off.